Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today I'm going to be showing you guys Nova Launcher for the Galaxy Note 8. Um, so I downloaded Nova Launcher and I have it all set up here. Um, I was previously using the Samsung um, Experience Launcher, just the default launcher. Um, normally I'm not a big fan of third-party launchers, but Nova Launcher is one of the better ones out there. Um, a lot of people do like it. So you can see here I just have one page on the home screen um, in my dock and stuff down there. So popping into the, the Nova Launcher settings here, I'm going to go over some of the stuff you guys can customize and do. I'm going to turn this light off so we get rid of that glare on that side. Um, so you have your desktop settings right here, which is where you can choose like your grid um, for your icon layout and stuff like that. Um, all that different kind of stuff on how your icons are going to be laid out. Your icon size, whether you want label, shadows, all that kind of stuff is customizable. Um, your scroll effect, your wallpaper scrolling, your page indicator, all that kind of stuff. Um, your app and widget drawer settings are right here. So on my um, on my app drawer, I do have it in the dark theme, which is pretty nice. It looks pretty cool. Um, it is just this dark gray color. Um, you can also change it so night mode is automatically applied at different times of the day. Um, you have look and feel settings right here, which is where you can do your icon packs and stuff like that. I use the Polycon icon pack from the Play Store. Um, you can do different shapes for your icon style, so you can you can choose all that and it will um, change the the app icon um, look, which is really cool. Like I said, your night mode settings, um, your dock settings, you can actually have a multiple page dock so you can scroll through the dock. Um, you can add how many how many pages you want to do right here, like I just have one. You can do all the way up to five, which is pretty cool. So if you want to put a bunch of um, a bunch of icons on your dock, you can do that and you can have multiple pages of it. You can customize all your folders and stuff like that right here. Your notification badges, you can have, um, you can put the notification badge on any corner of the app. So whatever you guys, you know, like. Um, you can change the size of it as well. I usually just keep mine on medium. There's also different styles. You can do, um, none, dynamic badges. Um, so it's a badge icon from your notification content. Dots, and then you can do numbers. The numbers doesn't, uh, does require you downloading another um, extension to Nova Launcher. Um, and this is the paid version as well. So this is all the features uh, Nova Launcher offers right now. Um, there are also a bunch of gestures you can do. So you can do swipe up, swipe down, double tap, double tap, swipe up, double tap, swipe down. Um, and you can customize these to a bunch of different things um, like your app drawer, your notification bar, um, expand notifications, expand quick settings. You can also choose different apps. Um, if you want to have one open an app, you can do that, or you can create a shortcut. Um, so different stuff like traffic, WhatsApp camera, WhatsApp chat. Uh, you can have it dial somebody on the dialer, send somebody a text message. All that kind of stuff is completely customizable. So you get a lot of customizations in Nova Launcher that you don't get with the stock Samsung Experience Launcher, which is pretty cool. Um, if you're like me and you have multiple devices or you're always um, updating your device, something like that, you can back up your settings. I have mine backed up to my SD card, so if I want to switch to my S9 Plus, I can take the SD card out, put it in my S9 Plus, and Nova Launcher on there, I can just restore it from a backup, and all my apps and everything on there will be in the same spot. You know, as, you know, grant you have the same apps on your other device. If not, I'm not sure what will happen. Um, I haven't tried that yet to see how it arranges stuff. I'm assuming the app just won't won't be there. Um, but that is what mine looks like right now. I do have the um, the dock down there. You can see the design, which is pretty cool. It looks a little bit different than stock. Um, the wallpaper is just a regular uh, Samsung theme store wallpaper that I downloaded. It is. Um, let's see which one it is. I can't get to the the theme store directly from the launcher, but we can. Let's see. It is. It's this one right here. So if you guys want to. Trying to see what it is called. It is a riot of color, is what it's called. So that is the, the name of it right there, riot of color. Pretty nice background. Um, it looks really cool, on the different lock screens and stuff like that. But that is Nova Launcher on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I do recommend you guys check it out if you guys are looking for different rotations and stuff like that. I know a lot of people are looking for the landscape mode. Um, and that just hasn't come out on the S8, that's an S9 exclusive feature. So definitely check this launcher out, it will give you features like that, and a lot of people do um, like the customizations that it offers. This has been Colin with TechOut, if you guys have any questions about the launcher, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.